Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see subcontracting process in SAP MR. We are going to see the business processes in the SAP system and we are going to see the interview questions as well. Both parallelly we are going to see. So the first question they may ask you is, what is the definition for subcontracting? Subcontracting process. Raw material sent to the vendor, vendor in turn sends us back the finished goods. We send the raw material and vendor will be sending us back the finished goods. They just assemble it and send us back the finished goods. This is what the definition is all about. Okay. They may ask you what is the process. Apart from creation of the material master and vendor master, already I have uh, uploaded a lot many videos on vendor master and material master. We are going to create an info record, subcontracting info record. And we are going to create a bill of material, BOM, in CS01. And then we are going to create purchase order in ME21N with the item category. They may ask you what is the item category for subcontract. Sub it is L. L stands for lion. Next, we do goods issue to the vendor. ME2O. Transaction code is ME2O. O for orange. And do the goods reserve. Now the vendor is sending us back the material that is finished. So MB2O goods issued to the vendor. But MIGO is goods received from the vendor. Next, we check the inventory. Finally, we do invoice in MIR. Vendor invoice in MIR. Transaction. Let's go to the subject. Directly I'm going to the subject. Before that, Already I have created these three materials. So this is finished goods. Computer is finished goods. Hard disk and other board. I'm going to send it to the vendor. And this is the supply. 1403. Already I have purchased this hard disk and other board from the vendor. I have I have the stock. Available stock in my system. Let's check that. MMBE. We checked it. 17. 1781 is zero computer. Go to get it from the vendor. Go to get it from the supplier. This is the finished goods. See here, none. And 6779. Let's enter 6779. Go to new selection. See here, 10 material. Already I have purchased it and I have it in the system. 6780. New selection. This is also 10 material I have in my hand. Now, let's go to the go to create a bill of material. CS01. Bill of material. 6781 is my computer. 6781 is my computer. And plant is VI01. VI01 is my plant. Bomb usage, let me select. They may ask you this question also. Universal. I'm going to select universal. They may ask you this question. What is the bomb usage? What are all the available? What, what are all the attributes of bill of material? Material, main material, main material is computer, and the rest two are components, subcomponents. Okay. And plant, we have to enter the plant and bomb usage. You have to say universal. Press enter. Now let me enter 6779. 6779. Quantity is one quantity. One. 6780. Quantity, one. And item category is L. Stock item. This stock item. L. Stock item. Press enter. This is, these two are components, subcomponents. And this is the main component. Computer is main component. Okay. Save it. Now I have created bill of now let me create MB11 purchase info record for all the material I'm going to create. 14403 is my supply. Purchase organization BI0. Select subcontracting. Press enter. Let me select from here supplier BI01. I'm going to select it from here. See, let me select this 140 SPK Industries present. Plan delivery time, purchasing group, standard quantity 100, 
and press enter. And let me save this. Net price 5,000 USD. Save it. Save it. Now, next material. 6708. 6708. Subcontracting. Same. Everything same. 2500 US. Save it. Save it. And 676779. Two thousand five hundred US, two five double zero US, and save it. Save it. Now let me create a purchase order. Me twenty one N. So they may ask you, what is the material you are going to give it in this? This is main component. You are going to enter the main component. They may ask you this question. Now, let me enter the supplier. 1401. Let me select it from here. 14 SPK. 1401. SPK in Enter. VI0. VI0. It's my purchase organization, purchasing group. Let me enter the material. This is my material. Main material. Computer. Computer. Enter quantity, one quantity. Enter plant, BI0 is my plant. Storage location, BI0. And here they may ask you, what is the item category in the purchase one? L. They may ask you this definite question, L. L stands for subcontracting. L stands for lion. Subcontracting. That's the end. Now, not possible to determine any components. It's coming. Okay. Now go to material data, material data, components. Let me enter the components directly. Let me enter the components directly. 6780. Quantity 1. 6779. Quantity 1. Come back. And let me save this. Let me save this. Automatically, it gets come. It will be displayed here. When you, when the conference, when you click onto this conference, automatically it gets displayed here. You don't have to enter it manually. I just wanted to show you how to directly enter. Now, let me save this. This is my purchase order. Subcontracting purchase order. 45 now let's go to goods issue. Next time go to issue goods to the vendor slash and ME220. ME20. Go to issue goods to the vendor. Okay. Supplier is 1406. Plant execute. Enter the plant and execute. Select this. Select both the thing. Post goods issue. Post goods issue. So now. They may ask you, what is the movement time? 541 is the 541. The definite question, 541. BI01 is my storage one. 541 is the definite question. When you issue goods to the vendor, what will be the move? 541. Continue. Continue. Now, it becomes green. It's been issued to the Vendor. Now let's go to come back. MB51. MB51. Let's go to MB51. Enter the supplier. Hello and execute. 541 movement time. See here. 541 movement time. Let's double click onto this material document. Double click onto this material document. Go to document info. FI document, they may ask you whether FI document gets created or no FI document gets created upon sending the stock to the raw material to the vendor. Right? This question is absolute question. Absolutely, they may ask. 100% they may ask. FI document, no FI. Now come back. 
from that. Now let's go to MMB and check. MMB, go to MMB and let me check the, let me enter the material and check. First, goods sent to the vendor, it will be executed. See here, stock provided to vendor. Next, 80. 80. Stock provided to vendor, one. One stock will be, has been provided to the vendor. They may ask you this question also. When you send the goods to the vendor, what will be the stock or what will be the stocks uh, or, or stock stock status in the overview? Then, then you have to say stock provided to the vendor, one. And finally, the computer, it will be on order stock. It will be in on order stock. That also they may ask. Eight one. Computer. What will be the position of the computer in the inventory? It's on order stock. What? Now let me do goods reserved. Let's go to goods reserved. Goods reserved. Goods reserved. Let's come back to MIG. 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 Goods reserved. Purchase order. Select, let me enter the purchase order here. Purchase order, press enter. Item okay and boost. Item okay and boost. Item okay and boost. Now, go to MB, same. MB 51. Slash and MB 51. This is absolute question they may ask you. MB51. Let me enter the supplier allow to execute. See here. One not one moment time. They may ask you once when you do goods resulting from the vendor, once when the center vendor sends the finished goods to us, what will be the moment time? One not one double A. Let's double click onto this material document. Go to document info. What document gets created? Accounting document. FI document gets created. In the FI document, accounting document gets created, controlling document gets created, materialism. All these three you have to see. Let's double on to accounting document. See here. All this, you don't have to say all this, but still, you should say accounting document gets created, controlling document gets created, and material document gets created. You don't have to say all, you don't have to say all these transactions. This transaction, you don't have to see. This transaction, you don't have to see. BSX, WRX, BSV, all this, you don't have to see. Now, come back. Come back. Come back. Now, let's check the inventory. MMB. MMB. Go to slash and MMB. Computer becomes one. Quantity, one. Seven, nine. Six double seven nine. It's one. The stock has been gone. Stock provided to vendor has been gone. Eight one. Computer becomes one. Because vendor has sent us the material. See here. What about seven nine? Double seven nine. Stock provided to vendor would have been gone. It's a raw material. It's a raw material gone. Now finally, MIR. Let's go to MIRO. GB10 is my company code. Enter invoice tip, calculate tax. Enter purchase order number here. This is my five nine five nine double zip. That's it. Enter baseline date. Base date. Let me enter today's date. Twenty three. Same. Yeah. These are all the potential questions that this is possible. Thank you.